What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top video games that I played in 2020. Let's get right into this. <music> So for the sake of this video and the sake of this series that I do every year, this is an annual video that I do on my channel, I just want to remind you guys that these games are not necessarily games that came out this year, they're just the games that I managed to play and finish and really enjoy and wanted to talk about that I played this year. So up first is a game that did actually come out this year, and that is Fall Guys. This game came out for PlayStation 4 and PC only at launch, and at the time it came out, it was free that month for PS Plus, which is where I got it. And honestly, as a Battle Royale game comes, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it if you have not played it. It's definitely a blast. It's more fun playing with friends. However, most of the time I play solo. I've never been able to get on with Jack yet but hopefully we will eventually get on this game because it's a lot of fun. Unlike typical Battle Royale games where it's about shooting to eliminate your opponents, this one here, it's more like a game show style, kind of like something like Wipeout where it's based on skill, timing, and how good you can get there and how fast you can advance to the next round without being eliminated. So it's very interesting, a lot of fun. I have streamed this on my channel and I've met some great people that I have played with because I ran into them throughout my streams. Definitely recommend Fall Guys if you have yet to play it. It is a lot of fun and one of my favorite games that I played in 2020. The next game is Need for Speed Heat. I actually bought this Black Friday in 2019. It was on sale 50% off. But at the time, I did not dive into it until about March 2020. I started to play it, and it's a lot of fun. The storyline is amazing. The cars, the customization options are amazing. I think they could have done a little bit better with the customization options. But still, regardless, an amazing, fun game. Now, this game here, I absolutely love doing car builds. So expect to see some car builds for this game very, very soon. But this game had a very interesting element legal day races to earn money and illegal night races that the cops really target you for and that you can go and do and get xp or rp with the game to unlock more vehicles and more stuff like that so it was a very cool concept i absolutely love this game and it's one of my favorite racing games and need for speed games that i've played the next game is a game that actually came out in 2015 and that is rocket league this year i actually purchased it and started to play it on my own and honestly this game playing it for the first time was a lot of fun if you don't know what rocket league is it's basically soccer but with rocket powered cars it's a lot of fun now a lot of people say that it is a tricky game to platinum however i managed to platinum it in two weeks i just grind out on this game for so it's very doable in a short amount of time but if you just want a quick game that's fun to play with friends highly recommend it me and jack spent a lot of hours playing this game in 2020 now i haven't played it for a while but it is still one of my favorite games that I played this year and definitely worth a mention for this video. The next game is a game that was free for PS Plus and that is Star Wars Battlefronts 2 The Complete Edition. And this game here, in my opinion, was a lot of fun. It was free for PS Plus in June and I started playing it right away, earning trophies, going through the campaign, which I thought the story was very amazing, playing online. Now, there was some tricky trophies, but I am this close to platinuming the game which i really want to do to be my 40th platinum it's a lot of fun and what i'm stuck on is to get to rank 50 however there is triple and double xp days so i've been really grinding out on a lot of the co-op missions and i think it's very doable it's just i can't just grind out on it because i'll eventually get bored of it and take a extremely long break so whenever it's double or triple xp days i'll play it then maybe for an hour and then I have to switch it up or I'm just going to take a long break like I did with it already and I'm not going to get the Platinum which I desperately, desperately want because it is a fun game and it really got me back into the Star Wars video games. The next game is a game that I believe came out also in 2015 and that is Deadpool. This game here, I actually bought two copies because I found them and they are kind of hard to find but also semi-rare because the copyright issue with the music. 
Now, one of them I kept in my personal collection. The other one I actually used as a giveaway here on the channel and it actually shipped it to, I think the UK is where the winner was. So this game here, I bought two copies of it. It was a lot of fun. I thought it was something I could platinum easily, but right now I'm stuck on one mission. However, it was so much fun. I streamed it for three hours straight. I've had a lot of fun with this game in 2020 and I highly recommend it if you have not played it. It's not available in the PlayStation Store, but you can find copies of it on sale on eBay or things like that. They range between $30 and $50. I bought both copies for $30 each. Now at the time, I actually planned on flipping the other copy, but I decided just to use it as a giveaway here on the channel so I could give back to my subscribers. And the last game that I want to talk about is A Way Out. This was one of the first Platinums that I got in 2020, and it's actually Jack's first Platinum because me and him played together. It is a co-op only game, meaning you cannot play this game solo by yourself. You have to play with somebody. And if you're going to play with somebody, you might as well play with somebody with a mic on so you can communicate back and forth and have fun together. So it's definitely a lot of fun if you have somebody to play with. If you don't, you can definitely find somebody online to play with. It's not that hard. It's definitely a really fun game. Highly recommend it and definitely easy to platinum. These are the games that I absolutely loved playing in 2020 and absolutely had a blast with. I definitely recommend checking them out. Like I said, not all of these games came out in 2020, but there's a very good reason for that. Every year, most games that came out in 2020, whenever I get around to purchasing them, is usually Black Friday, so November, the end of November. And I only have a month to really start playing those games. And normally I'll purchase five to six games. So to really get a good feel for those games, to only play those five or six games for a month, along with me playing some of my games that I already had, I can't really get into those games and get a good feel for them and really think that they're amazing enough to talk about in a video. So any games that I purchased that were on Black Friday this year that were part of my Black Friday haul, if I really, really enjoy them, I'm gonna be talking about them next year when I make this video because I'm most likely gonna be playing them more in 2021 than I have this year, the month that I owned them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what was some of your favorite video games that you played in 2020. Not only the ones that came out in 2020, but ones that you just played this year, maybe for the first time, or really played more of it this year than any other year. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.